Green and Bowling Green Junior High. Today is Friday, January 30th, and I'm Carson. I'm Charlie. And I'm Robbie. This time, please stand for the pledge, and please remain standing for the dress code check. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the dress code check. Today's lunch is our hamburger or cheeseburger. You can also get a turkey and cheese sandwich with always a sword. Happy veggies. birthday to Kaya Sells, George Perkins Lopez, and Tyreek Wells. Here's your local weather with Charlie. Hi, I'm Charlie here with your Friday weather. Today there will be a high of 38 degrees without precipitation in the morning hours. Uh, we will have 10 to 15 mile per hour winds and partly cloudy skies in the morning. Tonight it will get down to 26 degrees without precipitation and 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. Back to you Rob, Carson, and myself. Send a shout out to your teacher, student, friend, or staff member. These shout outs contribute to Habit 6 synergized by celebrating each other's achievements. You can email your shout out to Miss Pollard at ann.pollard at bgreen.kyschools.us. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Shelton. Thank you for teaching me Spanish. Don't forget to send us the pictures of you, your family, and friends on Twitter. Make sure to tag at BGJHS Broadcast. Send a candy gram to a friend or loved one. You will be able to purchase these candy grams January 23rd, which is in the past now. Today, the 30th, and February 6th, after lunch, or you can come to Miss Pollard's room in first period any day until February 6th. Candy grams will cost one dollar. If you'd like to join the junior high track and field mandatory practice, it begins Monday, February 2nd, at the junior high. Athletes should report to Mrs. Bush room C9, dressed and ready for practice by 2:55 p.m. Athletes must have an updated physical to attend. You should bring a water bottle and wear tennis uh -huh. shoes, athletic apparel, a copy of your physical will be required to run. If you wanted to purchase any of the Valentine's or, or coming out products, please visit the link in our Twitter account. Now here's your Friday Stories to be Told feature about Darlene Santos. Hi, I'm Marie. I'm here with Mrs. Darlene Santor otherwise known as Coach Dar, and we're just going to ask you some questions about Origami Owl, if that's awesome. okay. Awesome, absolutely. So how long have you been CPO of Origami Owl? So um, it's probably been about two and a half years, two years that I've lived full-time in Arizona doing this, but I was helping them before from Nashville, so about two and a half years. And really, I just want to say CPO is Chief Performance Officer, but I call it Chief People Officer. It's just helping people just be the best they could be and rising up. So whatever we need to do to do that. So for about two and a half years doing that. And do you enjoy your position? I love it. Oh, it's so much fun. I mean, you absolutely get to work with people and help make them better and believe in themselves and achieve their dreams. So I kind of feel like the dream manager where you get to help people's dreams come true. So it's, it's really fun. What are the highlights of your job overall? So that would be speaking for sure I love going out and speaking I love being able to interact and, and just like you're doing finding out about people in their life and seeing what makes them tick and get excited so all of that and then turning that around and making something uh, being a coach you always want to take action so helping people take the next level because we could talk about dreaming but then we have to go out and do it you kind of just explained it but how does origami owl contribute to our society that's a great question, and it really is because our mission is to be a force for good and empower people to reach their dreams. So if you think about it, we have thousands and thousands of people within our um, Origami Owl team, and that's a lot of people going out and doing random acts of kindness, helping other people's dreams come true and serving the world. So we're happier, and it's a lot of fun, and we're a force for good, for sure. How long have you been a motivational speaker? Well. I get asked this a lot, but I say it started in sixth grade when I was running for class vice president and then kept doing that and was held that office until high school and then I was the class president. But the reason I say that is because you have to give speeches and you have to get up and try to tell your vision to the whole school and it was trying to, it, you hope that you could make a difference and so it started then, but I could say professionally it's been about 18 years 
um, speaking and motivating and helping people. So you obviously enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, where are your favorite places you've gone to speak to people? I think my absolute favorite place is Nashville, Tennessee. It's where I lived for a long time and it's where I think some of the coolest people are and it's a great community and all the surrounding cities and even states around it. It's just got a good vibe and I think that um, being with the music business and all the stuff that goes on in sports and music and culture, it's a fun place to come. And then it's obviously got some amazing people so I think Nashville. Well, thank you so much for being here, and we've enjoyed having you. I love being here. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm Carson Burt, Stay Classy Bowling Green, Pimdy Doo.